Tropical Storm, Dexter Forum, then I'm also watching three other potential areas in the Atlantic. What's going on, guys? I'm certified meteorologist Jonathan Kegis, and I'm here to remove the trash from the truth when it comes to the weather. Stick around towards the end, and I'll show you the key steering component to show you if this wave rolling off of Africa is going to impact land. Okay, so here's Dexter. It's moving away from land. It's not going to impact anything, so we're not going to spend too much time on this one. But officially the fourth name storm of the season, you see it spinning there on satellite, some healthy thunderstorms. It looked healthy yesterday and then finally got its low level center together to become a tropical storm. There is the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center staying far away from Bermuda, staying far away from the Canadian Maritimes and the eastern seaboard of the United States. It's going to die a pretty quick death as it lifts up into the north and east over the cooler waters, relatively speaking anyway of the North Atlantic. So this one, Dexter, not going to hurt anything, but certainly a tropical storm still. Also one off to its south, and this one has the potential to impact land a little bit. You see that little firing of thunderstorms. It's very unorganized. It's not close. It's going to be this guy right down in here. That has the potential to kind of retrograde back toward Florida or the Carolinas. Now, model guidance is not bullish on this being anything super strong. We're going to go over some of that. And here is the GFS. You notice the spin here. And we're watching this guy. So this is number two of four off the southeast corner of the U.S. And it kind of pinwheels its way in and then works its way on shore. The GFS a little more aggressive, taking that area of low pressure somewhere into the Georgia, South Carolina area. A uh, big chunk of high pressure helping to steer things in. We'll get into the steering currents a little bit later on into this video. The European, a little less bullish on any kind of spin. You see it trying to spin, though, as it works towards South Carolina, Georgia, maybe North Carolina, maybe as far south as North Florida. The one thing I do want to point out, though, model guidance does struggle in a situation like this. So as long as there's something on the board, we should watch this closely. Much like Chantal, we talked about that, how model guidance was not very bullish on it. And then all of a sudden, we did get Chantal, as we were talking about, was a legitimate possibility. And at the very least here, some heavy rain is going to be in the future. Now, we also have kind of a two-part thing. The rain you see here from the Florida Panhandle into the uh, mountains of Virginia right through here, that's because of a stalled cold front, and that's going to be through Thursday. So potential for flooding rains from the Florida Panhandle through southwest Virginia. As I take this model out, watch it get a little more red, that's going to be because of the influx now of that tropical moisture down in this region, kind of enhancing some of that rainfall. So this is going to be something toward the end of the work week, Friday the 9th, uh, the 8th, Saturday the 9th, Sunday the 10th, that we'll be watching for likely something weak, outside shot for a name storm, but regardless, some very, very heavy rain potentially for South and North Carolina that we're going to keep a close eye on for you guys uh, in the Carolinas that, again, as we saw with Chantal, you don't need to have a significant storm as rated by the wind to cause some big problems out there. So we're going to keep a close eye on that. Okay, if you're still with me, hit that thumbs up button. If you're finding this information helpful, uh, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button as well because we are about to take out some trash. We call ourselves the garbage crew here, and there was a lot of trash spread on social media yesterday. I'm talking about the 18Z GFS. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Here is our current wave. So again, we'll highlight everything on the big picture. That's the wave to watch that could kind of meander in that direction. This is Dexter that's going up like that, and it's already kind of being sheared apart. This is the one wave that models are trying to latch onto, GFS. And then there's also that fourth wave um, that has some model support as well, getting ready to emerge off Africa. Tis the season for this to happen. Of course, we are in the month of August. So when it comes to that third wave, sound like Mari. So when it comes to the test of whatever month old, okay, anyway, this is the European model. So these are the SpaghettiOs. And they're called SpaghettiOs because they're little round things. That's what indicates the storm. So you see, okay, there's there's that. The, each one of those is a, a, where the ensemble member wants to put the storm. So I'm showing you the ensemble members first, which most people aren't going to show you because they're not scary and they're not going to generate clicks. 
just be mindful that people are making money off of scaring people. Just want to put that out there because you're going to see a lot of it. It's a stressful time. I'll go on a soapbox maybe at the end of the video, but I want to keep this moving along for anybody new and anybody that's looking for the information here. So you see a nice little curve. Now, there is Bermuda, so we're going to watch that for our friends in Bermuda. But notice there is the model spread, the ensemble spread of the European. It keeps it relatively weak. Again, if it was going to be strong, you would see a bunch of rings and they would turn brighter colors. So it's relatively weak as it goes up and out. You also, we'll take a look at this. There's also a fourth one. That's the other, the third wave that I'm watching in addition to Dexter. So there's another one out there. That's that big juicy thing that I showed you over Africa. So we saw that, right? We saw the motion. It's like this. Okay, now keep that in mind. This is what everybody showed you yesterday. Yeah. Um, is it a possibility? I'm never going to say never. But there is a distinct steering factor that I mentioned earlier in the video, right off the top that I was going to show you, that would likely prevent a scenario like this. Now, this is going to be on Friday, August 15th. That's the GFS. Is it in the realm of possibilities? Certainly, it's August. We have a very strong high pressure anchored into the northeast corner of the United States. That would make something like that a little plausible. However, they're not showing you the full story. And here is the steering current that I'm watching. Let's back the train up. All the red is high pressure. Okay? So expansive high pressure. We have one right there. We have one right there. That's going to try to force everything to the east. Anything blue is low pressure. So this is going to be the upper air height anomaly. Lower the heights, the lower the pressure. Okay? Watch what happens as we go out into the future. Okay? Oh, oh. Look at this guy. This upper low, that's partially because of Dexter, by the way, as it kind of transitions back into its post-tropical phase. Um, it has now split high pressure in high pressure, giving the storm a way out. It's important to note that. I would put a lot more stock, even though that's still 10 plus days out, I would put a lot, a lot more stock in the GFS if we had a connection here. But Dexter, in its transition back to a, just an upper level storm there, parts the Red Sea, if you will. And it gives the opportunity for a weak storm to feel the weakness in that ridge of high pressure and then go up and out. Just like what the European ensembles are suggesting. Now, the GFS obviously does not think that this is going to be as strong and that's why it continues to take it further to the West. So it's something to watch but it's more than just posting a singular model run showing doom and gloom and stressing my friends in Florida out because we're really, everybody is kind of watching the model run when we need to be watching this. Because if this turns out that that's not going to be there, then we're going to have issues in the southeast corner of the United States. But until this erodes, I'm not worried. Because the Euro typically does a better job on picking up on stuff like that. I don't care about the intensity of the storm. I don't care about where the storm's at. I care about what the 500 millibar upper air, 15, 20,000 foot pattern of motion is. And right now, I like to see that because it gives the storm a way out. So there are some of the trash. Again, is it possible? I'm not going to write anything off. It's... 10 to 14 days away from any kind of land impact if it were to continue to track to the west. There's no reason to post it. They just want money. They just want ad revenue. And I'm being straight up with you uh, at that point. Okay, so here is kind of it all playing out together. This is what I like to show you. This is the European Ensemble. So we're going to mark everything out. This is Dexter kind of falling up up here. So that's Storm 1. Here's that little thing off the southeast corner of the United States. There's Storm 2. Uh, this is Storm 3. Notice again, 
there's nothing coming to Florida, according to the European ensembles. There is storm number four potentially highlighted towards the Caribbean. And if this did go out further, uh, something kind of take it in this direction. Is it possible? Yes. However, the Atlantic as a whole, and I know that we have gone gangbusters over the weekend with Dexter and two other areas of interest on the map from the Hurricane Center and then this other wave that has uh, piqued my interest. The Atlantic is still trying to get more favorable. It was Dexter was born because of all of the warmth in the subtropics. Again, that was not born of tropical origin. I say it every single time, just like your favorite superhero movie. Each tropical system has an origin story. And this one originated from non-tropical origins, okay? These guys down here are tropical. They're coming from the deep tropics. That's the main development region. This one also would not be from tropical origins. It's from off from that cold front. Things to consider. Is the Atlantic really waking up? Well, if it supports waves three and four, I'll concede to that. But there's still some stability and there's still some dry air out here. So I'm not ready to say that like we're going gangbusters. It's just something to watch right now. And that is everything that we're going to keep our eye on over the next couple of days. Of course, our next videos, we're going to see if this, remember, we are watching this, not that. That's what everybody else wants you to watch, that scary model run. We're watching this, the steering pattern. And right now, all is well. Just for some giggles, let's load up the GFS ensembles. And as expected, so this is going to be, this is going to tell the story here. Even some of the ensemble mom, uh, ensemble mumbles, <laughs> ensemble members, look at that. A lot of the GFS ensemble members showcase a turn to the right. Some of them have it near the islands, near the Bahamas, Turks and Caicos in Florida. But more than half have it curving. They're not telling you that. And that's an important part of the story because the operational run of the GFS shows it slamming Florida as a strong hurricane, but more than half of the GFS ensemble members where different initial conditions are put in, show that turn away from the United States. We would obviously be watching that for our friends in Bermuda. We do not want to forget about you, but it shows the turn. It's very important to note that and those people for trying to get clicks and trying to make ad revenue, they're not going to show you that because they're going to keep on scaring you until the model run drops off. Just like the last one, that showed a major hurricane into Florida and into Louisiana at times, that wave never materialized. We told you that it wouldn't right here on this channel because the Atlantic was far too stable. Keep that in mind. They're just trying to exploit you for clicks and ad revenue. Alrighty, guys. That does it for me today. Thank you a ton for being here. If you happen to find this content helpful, I hope you did. Or if you want to help me take out the trash and take down some of this fear tactic and take down some of these revenue-seeking fear mongerers out there, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, join the Just Weather Garbage crew, and I'll catch you next time.